The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below. Hello Rovers fans, welcome to another match day experience as uh, I'm just about to head on the road to Ewood Park for Rovers' game at home this afternoon to Reading. Uh, it's got the feel of a big game for Rovers this one, hasn't it? So um, the month of October, it's not been the best month for Rovers and uh, yeah, just a few of the old wounds, a few of the old scars have just started to surface again, you know, about the manager and just where we are at as a club and, and all of those things. It's just come to the surface again and, you know, um, the fans need a lift today, don't they? We could do with a result. Um, Reading at home, with the greatest respect to Reading, you know, you look at games through the season, it's just got the feel of a type of game that Rovers should be going for today. Um but I will say Reading, you know, they're in fairly decent form. They've got five wins in seven, so it's not going to be easy by any stretch. But, you know, it is a game that Rovers have got to go and attack and, and got to be positive in. Um, if nothing else for the fans, you know, the, the fans certainly need a lift. And um, there just seems to just be a little air around the club at the moment. Um, the interview that Tony Mowbray did with BBC Lancashire yesterday is cutting a very flat figure at the moment. So the club just needs a bit of an injection and, and hopefully we can get the win today. Um I am really, really hoping we go back to the 4-3-3. Um, I've just got this little niggle in my head that if Lewis Travis isn't available, um, obviously Mowbray's done the 5-2-3 uh, formation in the last two games, and I just wonder if he'd be tempted to do Rothwell and Buckley as a two and keep that wing-back system. I hope he doesn't. Uh, I hope we go back to the 4-3-3. I just think it suits our style of play more. Um, and uh, I think it certainly allows people like Brereton to just impact the game better than than what they can in that wing back formation. So let's see. I hope it's the four three three. Got some good players coming back for us today. You know, Dolan should be back in. John Buckley should be back. I've spoken about him at length in all of the preview videos. Um, and then obviously Sam Gallagher and Joe Rothwell should be starting the game as well. So we should have fresh legs in this side. Uh, just the one doubt, obviously, or the one um, person who is out is Harry Pickering at left back. So Teo Edun will probably go to left back, which might be a bit of a loss for us in midfield. I think he's done very well in his last few appearances and in particular in midfield against QPR in that first half performance. So um, he'll slot in at left back. But yeah, I am looking forward to the game. Um, I just really, really hope we, we start on the front foot like Mowbray said we were going to do against QPR because if we don't um, and the game kind of rumbles through the first half or God forbid Reading take the lead, I think it'll be a really flat atmosphere and I do just wonder if the crowd are going to be able to play their part with how everyone's feeling at the moment. But I hope we can. Um, I hope it's an exciting game. And if it's nil-nil at half time and we're shooting towards that Blackburn end, hopefully we can get the job done second half. Like we did against Hull City. You know, we weren't great in the first half against Hull. But second half, we did come out and perform. And, and it was a good second half performance. So I'll take something like that any day of the week. So, uh, yeah, just about set off. Um, I'll be seeing Luke at the game and, and hopefully a few of us as well. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. And we'll catch you soon. Just arrived in Blackburn. A minging, minging journey up here. Loads of traffic. Um, so here later than what I planned. But hey-ho, we'll get marching on down to the ground in the moment. Um, but yeah, it's seen the team news. Really happy with that. Um, looks like we're back to that 4-3-3. Um, Lewis Travis back in the side as well. So it's pretty much the side that we all wanted and expected. Um, but Lewis Travis making it over the likes of um, Jacob Davenport or Bradley Johnson. So really good to see us back to that 4-3-3. You know, that settled midfield three of Rothwell, Travis and Buckley, which I think is going to be really important today. Um, and then we've got options off the bench as well. You know, Reda Kadra's back on the bench, Danny Butterworth's there, uh, and Ian Pervader as well. So if it's not quite going our way, at least we know we can change it up a little bit. So, yeah, really happy with that side. Um, really pleased that we're back for, with the 4-3-3 formation and just looking forward to Rovers going on the front foot and, and obviously really making... Um, making it hard for Reading. So hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, an early goal would be lovely, but certainly a half-time lead would be nice, but just something to lift the fans today, get us back in the mood for it. Uh, so yeah, let's see how we get on. I'm going to walk to the ground. We'll see you soon. Marching down to the ground on this fine autumn day now, but um, just a couple of other thoughts just as I'm walking down. 
Uh, really happy to see Ty Dolan back. Um, I think that wing back formation just doesn't suit us with the false nine like that. I think uh, Dolan in a 4 3 3, where yeah, he might operate a bit like a false nine, but we get more of the threat from Brereton and Gallagher, and obviously Dolan himself can go out into those wide positions as well. I just think it suits us a lot more. Um, I think we're asking too much of Leighton Clarkson to play that position, and we've seen Bradley Dack play it before. We've even seen John Buckley play it before as well. So I just like this front three the way it is. You know, they all bring something different. Um, and Sam Gallagher's work rate up there as well is obviously an added bonus. So, yeah, really happy with that front three. Um, and, yeah, as I say, great to see Lewis Travis back. I really bigged up John Buckley on the previews because I thought Travis wasn't going to make it, but to have both of them there, Travis and Buckley, real bonus for us today. They'll obviously get their pressing, get their work rate in there, hopefully allow Joe Rothwell to work some of his magic. So, yeah, happy with that side. Hopefully John Buckley can get a goal as well. He's been talking about it in the press. Hopefully you can bang one in the Blackburn end. Come on, Bucko. Nearly everyone is in that ground but me. <laughs> really far too late. But the uh, game will literally be kicking off in a couple of minutes, I reckon. Come on, Rovers, let's get this job done. Come on. Just a quick half-time video. 0-0 uh, nil -nil at half-time. Um, not the most inspiring stuff. Um, probably started pretty slowly, to be fair. And, and Reading were getting a lot of uh, spaces in front of their own back four and John Swift was able to drop deep and get the ball and um, it took us a while just to find our feet in the game, you know, we weren't really sustaining any attacks in their half in that first half, but we, we grew into it. Um, players like Ty Dolan and Rockwell and Buckley started affecting the game a bit more. We had a good chance, Sam Gallagher, uh, Joe Harvey's in the Riverside end, I messaged him at half time and he said he was right behind that ball and just of a gust of wind. It doesn't hit the bar and it goes in, but um, yeah, we're not playing very fluid. Um, we need to do a little bit more if we're seriously going to hurt Reading. You know, the Gallagher chance is really the only good chance that we've had. Slight blot on the copy book, oh, a two really. Uh, the first is Daniel Ayala, he's gone off with an injury, and Jan Paul Van Heck is on now, so interested to see how he's going to do in a back four, so we've kept the 4 3 3 system. And then uh, John Buckley. Uh, reckless challenge really in the centre of the park. There was really no need and now he's on the bucket. Um, and I hope we don't see what we did against Coventry last week, obviously where you know he's not limited, he's not affecting the game in the way that we know he can. So um, yeah, it's got the feel of the whole game at home uh, in midweek a couple of months ago or a month or so ago, where it's a fairly flat first half performance and then obviously second half we really lit it up. So Sensing the same, we're here in the Blackburn end, who can suck the ball into the net. Got Kadra on the bench who could hopefully excite the fans, but yeah, overall, pretty flat first half, uh, not very inspiring stuff, and yeah, a bit more needs to, needs to happen to raise it for the fans, but uh, yeah, they'll be out in a minute or so, but hopefully we can get the job done the second half. 60 minutes in, got a break in play, looks like Ryan Miyambi is going to go off with an injury which was just about at the point where we were going to make a couple of subs as well. Uh, Kadra and Pervader looking like they're coming on, so Ryan Miyambi's going off, we're just going to see who's going to come on, but we've seen a little bit of a response from Rovers, but it's still just not, not good enough in the final third, you know, we need a bit more. Uh, we had one chance from Sam Gallagher, where he's kind of prodded it at the keeper rather than finished it, but... Um, still a few misplaced passes, still a few overhit passes, things like that. So hopefully Kadra and Pervader can light this up. It's Pervader coming on first. Doesn't look, doesn't look like he's done. Yeah, he's not done Kadra, so just Pervader for now. It looks like John Buckley at right back. So let's see how we get on. And straight away it's 1-0! <laughs> Sam Gallagher! Brilliant. Lovely from Joe Rothwell. Off the post. Sam Gallagher taps it in. Absolutely got him for Joe Rothwell there. It was, it should have been his goal, lovely bit of skill. But then he's hit the post. Sam Gallagher from two yards, taps it in. But uh, brilliant from Joe Rothwell, difference maker. That's what we'll look, if we lose him, you know, that's what we'll miss. His rovers have largely been flat. Golden, sensational! 
takes it off. Brilliant football for Rovers. 2 0. I know, and lovely finish. What a finish. The Rovers fans are loving this. Brilliant work. Lovely slick move. Golden gets on his right foot, bangs it in the corner. Back in from the game now and just reflecting on just a, a really nice job done performance from Rovers. You know, all the talk before the game was just about us needing to win today and stopping that rot. And um, we've got the job done with, you know, just a really kind of um, not a sensational performance, but one that certainly once we'd gone ahead in the game, one which was um, dominant and, and one looking like we were the only team that was going to win. So, uh yeah, really pleasing, really pleasing to to get the win. You know, I was slightly anxious before the game. I did fancy us to win, but you're still slightly anxious, aren't you? Because we know that Rovers do like to go on those um, losing runs or runs where we don't win games. And this could have been five on the bounce without a win. So really nice just to kind of get the job done. And as I say, turn it around second half, like I was saying at the, the start of this video, you know. Um, the whole game at home is is the one that was sticking in the brain and I just fancied the Blackburn end just to play their part today and I know that the Rovers players uh, love shooting towards the fans in that second half in particular so uh, as I said earlier on in this video even if it was 0-0 at half time it's just one where we don't need to panic um, just need to obviously raise it another gear and we knew that we had players on the bench if needs be that could have helped us today so yeah thoroughly thoroughly enjoyable day you know I love doing the travel up there and obviously it's um so much easier when you win a game, isn't it? But um, yeah, just um thoughts on the game really. Um, just really quickly at the end of this video, thought we started the game really slow and then really built into it in the second half. But apart from the Sam Gallagher chance that hit the post, you know there wasn't too much to to really shout about at half time. But then second half, obviously Joe Rothwell just um. He really does show, doesn't he, what he brings to the Rovers side. You know, when you're crying for someone to grab the game by the scruff of the, the neck or you're crying for someone to, to make an impact or do a bit of magic. We got that from Rothwell, didn't we? He just picks that ball up around the halfway line area, drives at that Reading defence and that little touch he does just to shift it onto his left foot is ultimately what creates the space for him to get the shot away. Not the best shot. You know, he's, he's mishit it slightly. It's trickled and it hit that post and then... Sam Gallagher, you know, um, he got the sponsors man of the match today. I said on the instant reaction video that I would have given it to Tyrese Dolan, but Sam Gallagher absolutely deserves credit for his performance today. Um, you know, he rightfully has his name in lights today. He gets far too much criticism from our fan base. Um, you know, when we have got Brereton scoring the goals, it doesn't matter how many Gallagher's get in. And actually, when Brereton doesn't score, Gallagher's scoring today. So, you know, his contribution to the team um is never in question you know certainly from a kind of defensive and, and work rate point of view I'm sure Gallagher knows himself that he needs to score a few more goals and you know he'll have his own targets and things in mind but what I like about his goal today is he's anticipated the shot you know it's a striker's goal uh, and he's there in the right place at the right time so really pleased for Sam Gallagher um and hopefully he can be on his way to double figures as well which would represent a really good uh, return if he was to get to double figures alongside Brereton and if Dolan could get there as well you know the second goal from Tyrese Dolan um, he's been brilliant for us all season both off the pitch on the pitch and his kind of impact for the side and the work rate and the one little area that I just thought that he needed to work on was those shots from outside the box you know I've seen a few of them this season where they've either gone straight at the keeper or not with enough power but the one that he's hit today, just full of conviction, full of confidence, and he's absolutely arrowed it into that bottom corner. Just such a confident finish. So it's brilliant to see Tyrese Dolan brimming with confidence. And uh, he slightly messed up his celebration. Saw him chuckling on the highlights at that as well. But uh, no, brilliant from Dolan. And um, after that point, he was just absolutely just ripping it up down that left-hand side and little flicks and tricks and getting in behind. And um, there was one where he could have pulled it back for Brereton, but uh, he didn't. And I think Brereton let him know how angry he was about that. But uh, there we go. But um, yeah, there was a little smart tactical switch from Mowbray. Um, in the first half, we had Gallagher through the middle, Brereton left, Dolan right. Um, but he changed it up in the second half. He went Dolan left, Gallagher right, and then Brereton through the middle. And it just seemed to really help us out. Um and Ian Pervader, who came on, was was linking up with them well as well. 
Um, and Paveda played his part as well in that second goal with some neat passing. You know, Gallagher, Paveda out to Dolan. Um, it was good to see Paveda involved in in that second goal. Um, so yeah, that's that's all I'll say really. Um, just it's one of them where you know you're not leaving Ewood Park and going, what a brilliant performance from Rovers, but. It's one way you're happy that we've just got the job done and, you know, we've got a healthy points total, you know, 20 points. We're one point behind, what, six or seven clubs on 21 points, a point outside the playoffs. So, you know, we can just stay unnoticed a little bit. You know, I don't think anyone's expecting playoffs this season. But, you know, if you do stop those losing runs and, you know, let's say we were to go to Derby next week and win, you know, all of a sudden we're kind of in and around that top six again. So, um Hopefully, uh, as fans, we can just stay level-headed. It has been a disappointing month up until today. Um, but, you know, it was just a very kind of efficient and business-like performance from Rovers today where we just raised it where we needed to in that second half and obviously spearheaded by some good performances from Gallagher, from Dolan and, and that little bit of magic from Joe Rothwell. So um, that's the end of the match day experience. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, let us know what you think about the game in the comments. You know, are you happy with that Rovers victory? Um, have you still got concerns about what's happening? Are you happy with where we are in the league so far? And what's your feelings about the next game against Derby? Let us know in that comments box. Uh, comments box. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Please give this video a like if you can. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll be back with all of our match day content ready for Derby County next week. See you later Rovers fans. The Rovers Chat YouTube channel is proudly sponsored by SixYardsOut.com. They've got retro football from every era with mugs, phone cases and much more. They also have plenty of Rovers goods including apparel with the famous 94-95 season and this season's kit. Check them out using the link in the description below.